Well, good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for having me. I hope everyone can hear me. Um, how to respond um, to, to a lot of this? Um, first of all, on, on the, the bar, you said you admitted yourself that the, the bar had been set quite high. Um, I would suggest, though, that the burden of proof is on the proposer rather than on us. It, it quite clearly says Islam is a religion of peace. Um, I suggest you, you prove it. Um, I've also been told, we've also been told here tonight when we opened, um, that we need, this debate must take place in the real world. Well, absolutely, yes, it must. It must take place in the real world. Um, and, and, and I will describe what Islam is doing in the real world. We can sit and we can debate theocracy day in, day out. We will never agree. We can debate, is there a God? Isn't there a God? Is the Quran real? Isn't it? None of it actually matters. It's, what matters is what happens in the real world, as my opponent quite rightly said. Um, my side of, of the argument is regularly told that we are, we've heard it again tonight, we were described somewhat as hate. Uh, we were told that we are demonizing Islam, um, whipping up fear of Islam. Uh, not the first time I've been accused of this, probably won't be the last. But let me just say, and let's take this into the real world as we've been advised to do, let me tell you what actually whips up fears of Islam. We would take it from the top, 9-11, the London Underground bombings, Madrid, Mumbai, Mali, Bali, Northern Nigeria, Sudan, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Yemen, Pakistan, death for apostasy, death for blasphemy, death for adultery, death for homosexuality, gender segregation, uh, gender discrimination, unequal testimony between men and women uh, in, in, in legal uh, proceedings, uh, child marriage, amputations, beheadings, imprisonment for being raped, anti-Semitism, burqas, uh, execution, as I've said, for this, that and the other, the slaughter of Theo van Gogh on the streets of Amsterdam, death threats on the streets of London, butcher those who insult Islam, Muslim patrols in East London telling people they are entering Sharia control zones, polygamous marriages, marriage not requiring the consent of the bride. This is what causes fear of Islam. It is not me, it is not my, uh, my colleagues on this side. Point of um, information on that point. If Islam, so I, if Islam and Muslims are responsible for the Muslim patrols... I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, not finished. I'm not, no, okay. I'm not. I mean, let, me, let me speak on. But the point is that it is not I or my fellow debaters on this side who are causing fear of Islam. It is the actions of Muslims that are causing fear of Islam. That is the real world. That is where we actually live. Then we'll be told that this is just the extreme fringe of Islam. Well, let me have a look at Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is the birthplace of Islam, the custodian of its holy sites. In Saudi Arabia, a woman is not allowed to drive. She is not allowed to leave the house without a mahram. She is not allowed to vote, although they've been incredibly generous by allowing some votes in the next elections. Ah, uh, you know, uh, uh, this is apparently the extreme fringe of, of you know, people are executed for blasphemy, ex executed for apostasy. In, in Saudi Arabia, the birthplace of Islam, we'll be told that's the extreme fringe of Islam. No, it is not. Calling Saudi Arabia the extreme fringe of Islam is like calling the Vatican the extreme fringe of Catholicism. Sorry, it just doesn't work. Then we'll be told that it's, we've misunderstood. Violent... Muslims have misunderstood. This, it, Saudi Arabia has misunderstood. Iran, which stones people to death for adultery, has misunderstood. Yemen, which marries children at the age of nine, has misunderstood. Has there ever been a more spectacularly misunderstood religion than Islam? It seems that everyone, these nations who apply it as their laws, nations which have the Quran as their constitution, Innumerable, innumerable nations, where there is no free speech, where there is no freedom of religion, uh, they've all got it wrong. They've all got it wrong. It's, it's quite a spectacularly misunderstood religion. Um, you know, uh, uh, it's, there's, there's, just, there's just so much. That, you know, I'm, I'm constantly told as well that I, I need to respect Islam. 
Um, I'm never quite given a good enough reason why. Um, I, know, I, don't, I am under no greater obligation to respect Islam than I am, an, than I am any other beliefs. I'm under no more obligation to respect a woman oppressed under the, in the name of Islam than if she is oppressed by the BNP or anyone else. I am under no obligation to make, to make compromises with an ideology I simply don't see as peaceful. Why don't I see it as peaceful? Because of the evidence. If I look around the world and I see the countries where Islam calls the shots, all I see is, is brutality and violence imposed by the state. Someone, uh, someone taught, we were told that peace is not just the absence of violence but the presence of justice. Absolutely. I do not see how in a nation where as the only woman here, as the only woman here I have some particular issues um, with the way women are treated in Islamic states. Now you can argue that they've got it wrong. It's, tell them that because they seem to think that's what it is. Um, Yes, I mean, I mean there's, so, it's, there's so much to say about it, but are there, is there a peaceful Islam? Yes, there is. It's in the hearts of peaceful Muslims. Unfortunately, though, there's also a rather more objective Islam, and peaceful Muslims have to do some really rather creative interpretation, like the command to beat her. I've seen Muslim women... I didn't stand up for you. Well, I didn't. So if you could just have a bit. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen, by the way. I knew this would happen. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is completely controversial and will be booed and shouted down. And I have no doubt my colleagues the same. I knew this would happen. You say anything negative, you'll get the boos. I am, I'm actually going to leave it there. Um, but I will, I will finish just by saying this. There are hun hundreds of millions of peaceful Muslims. That is a fact. But that does not mean that Islam itself is peaceful. People, peaceful Muslims interpret verses of the Quran so almost beyond recognition it's reinterpreted. Like the command to beat her. It's there in the Quran and I've seen Muslim women try to dance around it. They put words in there that simply aren't there. That's what it says. It says beat her. And in the countries where the Quran calls the shots, that is exactly what they do. This is not peace. This is not justice. Uh, it, Islam is not a religion of peace, as the evidence shows us. Thank you.